On a battlefield far from all you know, how will you prove your bravery? In the savage garden of blood and steel, who will meet their end? Cast the four thrones to fire. Lay seven flames in the cradle. But there is one who knows the truth. In this world, there is no future. My lonely heart does not beat here. Here we are, Divine One. Welcome to the Kingdom of Firene. <laughs> it may not be my place to say that as a visitor here myself, but I felt someone ought to. It's strange. Just like Lethos Castle, this place feels familiar, but not. If we are finished discussing the scenery, allow me to remind you of the task that lies before us. We are to go to Firene Castle and acquire the bracelet of the Brash General. And time is of the essence. We must collect all seven bracelets before our enemy does. I hope the royal family is willing to hand theirs over. But I do have my doubts. You know how ill-tempered the Firenes can be. What? The people I know from Firene are good-natured and peaceful. Is that so? In this world, they are vengeful and quick to violence. The royal family most of all. That made them useful allies in wartime, despite their disdain for fell dragons. But ever since the Divine Dragon's death, they have completely avoided visiting us in Lethos. And who is the ruler here? Queen Ev? No. She died at the start of the last war, and her throne remained empty until after the war ended, when King Alfred took her place. But as Nils said, he subsequently cut ties with us. We were forced to take precautions. So we asked a trusted friend to be our eyes and ears in Firenay. She is due to meet us here shortly. Lady Nell, Lord Nell, hello, hello. Celestia, we were just talking about you. <laughs> I've been eagerly awaiting your arrival. You must be so tired after that long trek. A trifle compared to your intelligence work here, I am sure. Oh, that was nothing, Lady Nell. But who's this you brought with you? Oh... How is it you remind me so much of the Divine Dragon? Uh... Actually... Glorious day! Divine One, you've been reborn! I knew you could never leave us! Not permanently, anyway. <laughs> it's so obvious! How could I ever believe Sombron bested the Divine Dragon Monarch? Zelestia, as much as I hate to let you down, this is not who you think it is. Sorry for the confusion. I'm actually the Divine Dragon of another world. What? We should have let you know sooner. This is not the old friend you and I knew. Rather, this is the savior whom Nell and I summoned with an ancient ritual. This divine dragon arrived in the castle sanctuary, after your departure to Firene. I... I see. Of course. What was I thinking? I was there when we buried the divine dragon. I held that lifeless hand in mine as we said our goodbyes. <laughs> I know this is difficult, Celestia. Forgive me. I shouldn't have gotten so emotional. That loss was just as difficult for the two of you. Divine One, my name is Celestia. I am a mage dragon of some small renown. I always considered both you and Queen Lumera of this world to be my family. It's an honor to make your acquaintance. No, please. Let's skip past acquaintances and just be friends. How funny! That's just what the divine dragon I knew would have said. Say, is there someone like me living in your world too? Well... <laughs> Silly of me to ask. Of course she's there, and no doubt a great help in your fight against Sombron. <sighs> what news of Firene Castle, Celestia? You were stationed there for some time. Indeed, I was. 
Firene is making plans to invade its northern neighbor. Brodia. The idea was Princess Selene's. It's technically still waiting for King Alfred's approval. But that hasn't stopped the young princess from mustering a force of elite knights. We can no longer stand by and simply watch how this unfolds. Agreed. We must go to the castle and head off this war before it begins. Another thing. Firene's emblem has been altered somehow since the last time I saw it. We'll need to be careful. Yes. Now, let us proceed to the castle and reclaim the bracelet of the Brash General. I only hope Alfred and Saline are willing to talk with us. Still, Alfred? Still undecided about whether to invade? Don't rush me, Saline. This is a big decision. I need time to think it over. No, you need to take action. It's not that easy. Brodia was our ally. If we pick a fight with them, there's no going back. Since Mother and our retainers died in the last war, it falls to us to defend our people. Don't you know they are suffering? With the Divine Dragon gone, the world is falling to ruin. Our crops and flowers are losing their color. Soon the farms will go barren. The only possible remedy is to expand our territory and supplement our resources, now. I know, I know. As a mining economy, Brodia can spare the resources we need. So an invasion could really help us out with wealth and minerals. It's a decent plan, but there's a big hole in it. The strength of Brodia's military. Which is precisely why I assembled an order of knights to defeat them. Or is it their emblem you worry about? That silly princess is no match for the brash general. Nothing's certain. No matter how good our odds look, we could still lose everyone. Or don't you remember? Our retainers so sure they'd come out on top, all falling like petals. That was the same day our strongest ally, the Divine Dragon, left us forever. You have changed, Alfred. You used to be afraid of nothing and no one. When the Divine Dragon was lost, so too was your spine. I will handle it then. Meaning what? Meaning I will head to Brodia on my own, without your permission. With no knights? Are you trying to get killed? Facing either death by the sword, or a broken heart as our people die? I choose the former. Should I perish, perhaps a real hero will emerge and lead our people. I'm content with that. As for the Brodians, if they must suffer in order for our people to live, so be it. After all, one country's loss is another's gain. I just can't get through to you, can I? It's not your fault you were cursed with a stubborn fool for a sister. However, if you want her to have any hope of survival, you must make a choice. What will it be, your majesty? <sighs> you win. You're the only family I have left. If you're set on this, I'll at least give you a fighting chance. Consider the invasion approved. Thank you, Alfred. Let's go. I'll give your knights official notice to prepare for battle. Wait. Please. Who goes there? King Alfred? Princess Selene? It has been quite some time. Pardon the interruption. But we are here to discuss an urgent matter. Well, if it isn't Nell, and Nil. You know, I could have you executed for barging in here uninvited. True. Simply return the bracelet of the Brash General to us and we will leave you alone. Oh, please. If we turned it over, the balance of power between nations would fall apart. So you intend to continue to wield it as a weapon against your peers? It is precisely because they do the same that you now stand upon the brink of war. I do not think the Divine Dragon would find this behavior acceptable. Oh, you presume to speak on behalf of the Divine Dragon? Curious, considering your father was the one who denied us Divine Counsel forever. How dare you! We had nothing to do with that! How many times must we tell you that we are not Sombron? Control yourself, Nil. Of course. I'm sorry. Rest assured that we are making the same journey to each of the other bracelet holders. We are reclaiming all of them. 
With that in mind, there is no need for you to keep Viranaeus any longer. How do we know this isn't a trick to weaken us and strengthen our enemies? Show us proof you took the other country's bracelets, and then we'll talk. Virene is our first destination. We have not reclaimed the other bracelets yet. Then there is nothing more to discuss. We march to Brodia. The bracelet's power is indispensable to our invasion efforts. We will not simply hand it over. Still, you refuse to comply. In that case, you have left us with no choice. If it's a battle you want, we will be only too happy to oblige. Please, stop! I don't want to fight the two of you. Divine One? No. No, of course not. How couldn't you feel like the Divine Dragon? You told us our friend was dead, you wretches! Were you lying to us? N no. I'm from another world. What? No. There's only one explanation. This must be one of the corrupted. The Fell Dragons used their vile magic to make this twisted puppet of our fallen friend. That's not true. Listen to me. We don't listen to imposters. I can't believe you Fellspawn did something so sick just to steal our bracelet. No doubt the tears you shed over the Divine Dragon's death were a trick as well. I thought as former allies, we could resolve this peacefully. Your deceit changes things. No. Knights, get ready for battle. See to it that Sombron's children are finally put down. We'll bring their severed heads to Brody as a symbol of our might. Yes, there is the brother I know. The fearsome man they called the Prince of Strewn Flowers. Now, as you did in the war, cast our foes to the ground like so many mangled roses. If your spirit is trapped in there, Divine One, I'll set you free. Alfred, no. It seems conflict is unavoidable. I knew this would happen, but it's just as well. Their disrespect for Lady Nell and Lord Nil cannot go unanswered. Prepare yourself, Divine One. These may be familiar faces, but they will show you no mercy. I will show no mercy to the Corrupted. Not even you. Though, I've wanted to fight you all along. Why would you want to fight me? Were we allies, it would be unthinkable to wonder who would win in a fight to the death. But now, I can satisfy my curiosity. I'm so happy. A flower like you will fall so beautifully. Invading Brodia? I've never had a more stupid idea. Open your eyes, Saline. What do you mean? Are you... me? Is this more fell dragon trickery? Your pleas mean nothing. For the happiness of my people, evaporate with the dew! All that will evaporate are your ambitions. You should think hard about what you are doing. You cannot buy peace with warfare. No, this can't be right. <laughs> We were supposed to succeed. I was supposed to be happy. Come and test your mettle. But there's no way you can defeat the Brash General. Selene? Why are you fighting with the enemy? No. My eyes must be deceiving me. Wait. Aren't you... me? What's going on? Is this some twisted illusion of the Fell Dragon? Hmm, looks like the Alfred in this world isn't so buff either. Huh, I wonder if it's just hard for me to build muscle no matter which world I'm in. What in the world is this trickery? If you're an illusion, I command you to vanish! Wow, she's got more vigor than I thought. I'm looking forward to fighting against myself. Home to find one. Seeing you in such a pitiful state breaks my heart. Such a shame. Alfred, please, listen to me. I don't want to make things harder for you, but I bet you were told to say that. My old friend. Don't worry. I'll help you out. I'll erase you so utterly. Not even your corpse will remain. No one will ever go 
curse you again. I knew from the start that I should have given the bracelet back at the war's end. This is it. The bracelet of the brash general. Emblem Hector dwells within. A brave leader who embodies the fighting spirit of the Fyrenees. He was once daring and gallant. Now, as Celestia informs us, he is tainted by evil. I wish I could summon him again. Give him a fresh start. There is no point lamenting what cannot be changed. I will return him to slumber now. Rest easy, Emblem Hector. Thank you. Again, the emblem speaks. It seems a shame to drift off so soon, but I suppose it's not all bad. I just hope we can all stride into battle together. Someday. I'm sure we will. You put the general to bed, I see. King Alfred, please, call off your invasion. <sighs> Without the bracelet, I don't have much choice. But... Nil just told me you're from another world. Is that true? Yes, it's true. Adds up, I guess. If you were our Divine Dragon, you wouldn't have taken our bracelet by force. You'd have sided with us. Or you'd at least have been nicer. Clearly, you're not the friend I knew. Alfred... But still, I'm glad I met you. You may not be from this world, but I can tell you have the Divine Dragon's heart. Sorry about before. I really did think you were one of the Corrupted. For my part, I owe an apology to Nell and Nil. I insulted you, tying you unfairly to Sombron. You are not to blame for his actions. I am deeply, truly sorry for losing my composure. Noted. We were all devastated to lose our beloved Divine Dragon. Of course we understand. <sighs> hey, I've got an idea. How about you take us with you? A little extra muscle might come in handy if you're going around collecting bracelets. Yes, an excellent idea. I already have my knights assembled. They could come as well. Absolutely. It would be a great comfort having you two on our side. Alas, we cannot. Huh? Why not? It is out of the question. And it is not your choice to make, Divine One. While it is true that we summoned you for help, this is not your army. Whatever authority you are accustomed to in your own world does not apply here. Right. Sorry. You'll have to forgive us, Divine One. Nell is harsh, but she speaks the truth. I am also opposed to allowing the Fyrenees to join us. What do I have to say here? Are you gonna make me beg? I need to make up somehow for treating you all so badly. Let me help keep you safe. The battlefield is no place for a king. The people need their ruler to watch over them. Not only that, but think of what would become of your kingdom if it were to lose you. Firene would be left entirely without a monarch, or even an heir. Then at least let Salian and her knights go with you. The king's sister is every bit as indispensable and the knights must defend their castle. If your intention is to make amends to us, then I would ask you to think foremost of yourselves. Fair enough. If that is your wish, we will accept it. Shall we keep our bracelet here, eh? Why? I can assure you, we will not misuse it. After all, we can awaken sleeping emblems. But if our enemy wants to collect the bracelets, is it not safer to keep them apart? It would be logical. But for the likelihood that our have hidden emblems. If that is so, the emblem's slumber becomes irrelevant. And if they're telling what the bow will wreak. Hmm. Better to keep them with you, since you can put them back to sleep. Makes sense. I appreciate your understanding. Nothing more to discuss then. We'll head back inside and leave the bracelet with you. Sorry to give it up, but at least it's in the right hands. More importantly, Divine One? Yes. The hardest part of all this is saying goodbye to you, my old ally. But I'm so glad you're back. When we lost you, I... I was beside myself. Uh, Alfred? I'm not the Divine Dragon you knew, remember? Nell explained it. Oh, right! <laughs> Silly me. I'm new to the throne, so I've been burning the candle at both ends. 
Guess I'm a little worn out. Not very becoming of a king, is it? If I'm not careful, people will start to talk. It's all right. I am here to support you, Alfred. Let's head back so you can rest, hmm? I will begin thinking about ways to revive industry here in Firene, without resorting to war. As for you all, when your mission is done, please do come back and visit with us. Uh, best of luck. Was Alfred all right? He seemed to be acting a little... strange. Probably just terrified. My sister does have that effect on people when she's angry. I was not angry. Nell's got a point, though. You were too harsh with your words. I refused their offer to join us on principle. You did not have the right to invite them. I already apologized for that, didn't I? Uh, Lord Nell? Is there something going on between those two? They've been tense with each other from the very start. It is becoming a bit of a problem. I wish I could convince them to get along. Perhaps it's hard to accept that this one is in fact a different person. It is quite unexpected. In the past, Lady Nell was so... I am right here, you know. Uh, my apologies. At least there were no assassins this time. I'm not sure I could have handled that. It was hard enough just fighting Alfred and Saline. That does not mean they will not show up again. We should remain on guard. You don't think we might be fighting twins, do you? Twins? Back at Lethos, Nell mentioned that fell dragon children are always born as twins. It's just a thought. It is possible, but nearly all fell dragon children lose their twin siblings as they mature. I do not think it is terribly likely. Sorry, did you say lose their twin siblings? This is the first I've heard of it. Lady Nell and Lord Nil, you're still together. We are exceptionally fortunate to be so. Then I'm glad neither of you lost your other half. That would have been awful. <laughs> kind of you to say. There is no point to baseless speculation. Let us focus on reclaiming Brodia's bracelet. Right. Your world's Brodia. I'm curious to see what kind of place it is. It seems like we lose more siblings by the day. Hairs of twins like us do seem to be getting rare. More and more, I see them talking about killing one another. They call each other weak. They laugh at twins who haven't fought to the death yet. Unthinkable. I'll be next. I'm sure of it. They'll come for a failure like me any day now. Do not say such things. But it's true. Stronger ones than me have already died. Ones who are more useful to father. Even if I'm not next, it's only a matter of time. I'm so scared. Nell, listen to me. Come what may, I will protect you. I swear it. <laughs> <laughs>